Okay, guys. Before we get into the video, this is a very, very long video. This is gonna be the last really long video I do because I'm not trying to start this channel just to make long videos, but 2K is one of the only games that you have to put a lot of real money down after you even buy the game just to play it. And it's not like COD where they have their their DLCs and their skins and all their extra stuff. No, you actually need to spend $70 to be able to compete in this game. You could go without doing it and upgrade the player on your own. That will probably take you a month for a casual player, which let's be serious, no one's doing that. I don't think I know a single person who does that. So I understand that it's expensive to create a player and actually play this game. So I want you guys to all make the perfect players for yourselves and not waste money because I know how it feels and it sucks. Every year, at least once, I mess up on a build and I basically waste $70. I say $70. For me in Canada, after tax, 70, it comes up to $70 Canadian. So $70. Now, you'll probably get bored if you just sit here and actually watch the video. I don't have much gameplay or anything. It's a lot of looking at the builder and the animation screens and a lot of basic stuff. So I suggest you honestly just put this on over the background of whatever you're doing. Maybe you're grinding your badges. Maybe you're just playing some playing some uh, park by yourself with randoms or you're playing with your friends or who knows what you're doing. Maybe, maybe you're reversing disco and you're just shooting over his head every possession. <laughs> but keep this on because it's more my voice that you need to hear than the actual gameplay. And if you do watch the video all the way through, it's probably gonna be under just under an hour, but of around 45-ish minutes. If you do end up watching the whole video, I hope you learned something because I go in a lot of detail and I think some of the stuff I mentioned is very helpful, especially for newer, newer players or players that don't have a full grasp of the build system. Because unlike the old games that used to basically just lay out our build for us after we picked an archetype or something, we actually have to put a lot of thought into these new players. It's quite complex and I hope I do a good job of bringing it down for you guys. If you have any other questions, comment them. Uh, I'd love to see. I'd love to answer you guys' questions. And I'm always trying to help. So comment if you have any other questions. I'm going to leave a few links in the description for some resources that I think you guys could also use to help you make your players. Because again, I'm not making this because it's necessarily the most entertaining, but I'm actually trying to help you guys. So yeah, uh, hope I'm able to help you guys. Leave a comment if this video does help you. And if you create a build using this information that I've given you, like leave me the build in the comments. You could uh, write down some of the some of the stats or tell me if you use any of my methods and let me know. Also, even if you don't make a build after this video or with the information from this video, leave a comment. Tell me what your build is. I love to hear what you guys are, uh, are playing with. I usually like to play with stuff that's pretty off meta. I hate making builds that are like 100% on the meta. So my builds are always pretty interesting compared to most people's. So if anyone else has some interesting builds or you just want to share your build, please leave in the comment. I'd love to see what you guys, what you guys are running. So first thing I want to address when creating a player is the height. Now we're going to use this player as an example. So this player right here, I created this player just for this example. Take a good look at the stats, every every little one, because they're very relevant. Height, 6'8", weight, 185, which isn't lowest. Oh, no, no, it is lowest on this player. Uh, wingspan, 7'6", which is maxed out. Point guard, position, remember that. And I'll flash the stats on screen again after, but I'm trying to remember the stats a little bit. Now, if I come off this player and I go and make a new player, we're gonna make this player this doesn't matter. We're gonna go point guard, six foot seven, not six foot, not, not six foot eight. We're gonna lower the wingspan to the lowest. Now I could put a 185 to match it, but it's not gonna make a difference. You're gonna see. And wingspan, we're gonna max it out at seven foot four. Continue. Now I'm gonna try and match every stat from the six eight player on this player right here. So close shot was a 62 on the last player. I actually have a picture pulled up so I have the exact stats right beside me. 
Driving layout, 80. Driving dunk, 75. Standing dunk, 60. Pose control was a 92, which I believe is max on this player. Yep, 92, max pose control. Mid-range, 76. Three-pointer, also 76. Free throw, we have free throw at 71. Pass accuracy at 91. Ball handle at 85. So 85 ball handle. Speed with ball, 75. There's a 75 speed with ball. Now, interior defense is at 55. Perimeter defense is at 85. Steel is also at 85. Block is at 30, which that's not an actual good threshold to have for the stat, but that's exactly what the other player had and we're trying to match the stats exactly. Offensive rebound, 39. Defensive rebound, 83. Now, speed. We've got 81 speed. 73 acceleration, 50 strength. We're gonna go straight to stamina here, max out the stamina, and then vertical, 61. So, the stats are identical, except vertical can't go up. Now, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it is. Vertical is a fairly expensive stat as well. It's a, pre it's a pretty middle of the line in terms of being inexpensive or expensive. So, only being able to get 61 vertical where we had 80 on the other player is pretty insane. This just shows you that both, both of these players with the same stats, they can't get exactly the same number of attributes because of their height. And that's the only thing that's different. Now the weight's different too, but I can show you if I put up the weight to 80, 185, <clears throat> it doesn't make a difference. I don't, I don't unlock anything. I unlock a few more stats, but they're not going anywhere so it's it, like even if i put the weight up way way up i'm not i'm not getting any stats for this nothing's changing all this shows is that making the player smaller is giving us less attributes now this isn't true for every height combination it's not true for every build it depends on which stats you upgrade there's a lot of things to factor in but i want you to understand that that is something that could happen so when you're making your player let's say you have this this dream player in mind this is the player i want this is the height i'm thinking of don't just settle for that check the build at multiple heights because you might get more attributes at one height and be able to make the player just as good but then just have additional attributes to make them even better. And you still have the player you want, but you have more attributes to work with now. I'm gonna show you the same thing at 6'8", 6'6", uh, six, six now. 6'6", six, six, lowest weight, max wingspan. Now for this player, I could go up to, I could go up to higher weight just to match the defensive rebound stat, which was 83, which we'll, we'll do that. I'll show you, I'll show you lowest weight after as well, but we'll do this for now. And let's match the stats. Max out the defensive rebound. We're going speed, 81. Acceleration, 73. Strength up to 50. Max out the vertical. And you're going to see same thing with the 6.6. It's actually a little higher than the 6.7, but still, it's not the 80. So it's not a set in stone rule that the smaller, the less attributes, but different heights have different attribute potential, which can definitely change the kind of player you make or what height you make your player at. Because why would I make a, a player at 6'7 if I'm not getting as many attributes as a 6'6 a or a 6'8? The 6'6 gets more attributes and so does the 6'8. So for me, I probably wouldn't make a 6'7 for this kind of build. Now, depending on the build you're making, that could change. If you're making a lock, I've heard a lot of people making 6'7 locks are a little bit quicker than the 6'8s. And there's a lot of a lot of different things you have to take into account, but that's why I said for every build you're making, check every height. Because this is just this isn't me saying, oh, this height is bad. This is me saying this height is different. So think about the fact that it's different. And when you're making your player, check the different heights so you can make sure you're just getting the most attributes for the kind of player you want. Like if you only need 85 ball handle then you can go as high as 6'8", but you don't have to go 6'8". 
if you can make a 6'6 player that has the same stats that you would get at your 6'8, or if you can make a 6'8 that can get the same stats that you can get with your 6'6, but plus more, why not go with the 6'8? If you're going to go with a 6'6 player that only has 85 ball handle anyways, and then you're able to get more stats at, at 6'8, then maybe it's more worth it to make the 6'8 over the 6'6, because you still get the same ball handling stats, you still get the other stats all the same, but you might be able to unlock more at that 6'8 height. That rule doesn't apply for everything. If I need, so this 6'6 six, this six, six player, I'm going to take off perimeter just for now. This 6'6 six, this six, six player could get 91 ball handle. I think it goes up to 93 on a 6'6 six, six player. So I can get up to 93 ball handling on a 6'6 six, six player. So obviously if that 93 ball handle is important to me, then of course I'm not going to make a 6'8 player. Obviously not. So don't hit me in the comments with, with that. I'm talking about if I'm only going with 85, maybe it's worth looking at the 6'8". Maybe it's worth looking at the 6'7". Depends on the player you're making. Just check every height before you finalize your build. You don't want to waste VC. Okay, step one for creating your perfect player. We have the planning stage. This is the most important stage out of everything you're going to do when making a, pl a player in basically any 2K game. And you want to start off by doing some research before you even touch the builder system. Now, this is what I recommend you do. You want to focus on four things. You want to focus on what play style are you going to make your build for? Uh, are you going to be a playmaking kind of player, a pass first player? Are you going to be a ball handler who looks to score first? Are you going to be a wing player, a role player are you going to be a big man are you going to be a popper are you going to be a slasher you got to figure it out you got to figure out what kind of player you want to make next step badges and animations go into my career make a new player if you don't already have one but if you do that works too go to the animation screen and go to the animation store go to playmaking moves scoring moves uh dunk styles you can or sorry the, uh, the dunk animations find the animations you want all the animations you would like to have on your build, whether it's really high animations, it could be like the top of the line dunk animations, or it could be the bottom of the barrel dunk animations. It could be the highest end jump shot animations, or it could be the lowest on same thing with playmaking. It could be the small guard, high dribbling dribble animations, or it could be the lower 75, uh, or the lower seventies rated drill moves. Anything that you think you might like to use, write it down. Write down the requirements, whether it's a height requirement, a let's say if it's a dunking, if it's a dunk package, it could be a dunk requirement and a vertical requirement. It could be for ball handling, a speed with ball requirement. It could be a ball handling requirement. It could be a speed or acceleration requirement. Write it down. Any animations that you might want to use, write it down. If you don't know what animations you want to use, because your first build. I recommend you go to the 2KU and create a player. I can I can link another video in the description on how to do that. I'll find a video, I'll link it for you guys. But use the 2KU because it's a huge help to test out your player before you actually build it. Next, after you figure out what badges and animations you want and what requirements you need for those badges and animations, the last thing you need to do is pick up a little bit of game knowledge learn a little bit about the game how to play at the level you want to play at if you want to be a very competitive player then you need to search up you need to watch videos of competitive people you need to watch gameplays of competitive people you need to see which kinds of things are being used at the levels you want to play at and just absorb all this information use your own knowledge as well so for me i've made multiple players so i use the information i got from playing on my previous builds to help aid me in creating my next player and make it better than the previous one. But if you don't have any other players, use other people's knowledge, watch other people play and see the things that they say they like and the things that they don't like and use that to your advantage. Now, lastly, I'm gonna run through the planning for my build and the build I'm gonna use as an example in the next part of the video really quickly. So I wanna make a playmaker style player. And that's the example I'm gonna use in this, in this video is my 6'8 playmaker that I used in the last video. So first thing I'm gonna look at is my playmaking stats. If I were if I was gonna make a small playmaker, then I need to look at the 
drill moves for a small playmaker. Kyrie drill style is easily the one drill move I'd want as a small as a small guard playmaker. I know that I like De'Aaron Fox behind the back. That's an 80, that's an 80 ball handle. I know I like uh Trey Young behind the back. I believe that's a 92 ball handle. Whatever it may be. I also like Kobe behind the back. Look at the animations you want, get them. So for me, I looked at the animations I want for playmaking, I put them down. That includes badge animation, or sorry, badge attribute requirements and and animation attribute requirements. Look at both. Next, finishing. Okay, after figuring out exactly what playmaking badges and animations that I want and what I need to unlock them, we're gonna look at the finishing. So, coming over here to animations, this is actually the player that I did make, dunking. So, I remember when I was creating my player, I wanted the Yanis dunk style. What do I need? Standing dunk 75, driving dunk 75. I, I have to be higher, uh, taller than 6'5", and I have to have at least a 50 vertical. That's just an example. I'm not going to run through them all. Go through the animations that you want and write down the requirements for them. All of them. It could be even down here, the CJ McCollum, which is a 40 driving dunk, and, and all you have to do is be under 6'10". Write them down from the lowest to the highest that you think you will need and have all the animations and the stats readily available. You need that information for later on in the build process. So make sure you have them. This also goes for things like your layup animations, scoring moves. So layup styles. I knew when I created my player that I wanted Jimmy Butler layup style. That's a 79 driving layup. What else do I want? I also want Pro Touch on Hall of Fame for my player, and that's gonna be an 80 driving layup stat. So I know as long as I get my Pro Touch Hall of Fame, which is something that I really want, I'm also gonna get this Jimmy Butler layup animation. So those are things that I need to write down. I need to remember those for when I'm creating my player. The biggest one is the dunks, because if you don't have the dunks you want, I don't care what your, dri your driving dunk stat is. If you don't put on animations, you're not dunking the ball. So make sure you get the animations you want. And if you don't know which animations are good, watch some videos. There's some great resources out there for finding the best animations. That's what I, that's where it comes back to what I was saying. Do research. A great person to look at for almost everything, but especially anything slashing related, Laker fan. Go to Laker fans YouTube, watch his videos. He is probably one of the most reliable resources for, for slashing info and just game info in general in this game. So definitely look at him for research. You're going to want to look at it for research. Lastly, I have the the defense. So on my player, I know that I really want silver clamps. That's a that's a, a must for me, an absolute must. So for that, I need an 85 perimeter defense and a 50 strength. Those are two stats that I'm gonna have in mind when I'm creating any player, big or small. So unlike things like dribbling and dunking, the, def the defense stats don't really have much height requirements unless you're getting into maybe some of the other badges. They I think anchor has a height requirement, possibly some of the other ones but most of the stuff doesn't. So I know I want silver clamps, 85 perimeter defense and 50 strength are two stats I'm gonna keep in mind when I'm constructing my player. Next, I want interceptor at a decent level. Interceptor is an important badge to me, so I'm gonna look. If interceptor is something important to me, what are the requirements for interceptor? Gold interceptor is 89 steel. Silver interceptor is 81 steel. Bronze interceptor is 80 steel. So those are three attributes that I know those off the top of my head, but for you, research them. Once you figure them out, write those down. So when you're creating your player, you know which thresholds you need to hit to get certain badges. Now, badges aren't as bad because as bad as animations, because badges you can see on the right side of your screen while you're actually in the builder. So you can see them in real time. Animations aren't really that easy. So you're going to want to make a list of animations more than the badges and make sure you have that animation info readily available when you're creating your player because it's very important, especially for the end process of creating your player. The last thing I've talked about is physicals and shooting. Physicals directly tie into some of your other stats, such as like vertical directly tie into some of your dunking stats. Uh, speed and acceleration might tie into some of your dribbling. Like I know you need speed to unlock speed booster on certain levels and acceleration unlocks you some badges like fast feet and blow by. So those are things that aren't as important to focus on right now when you're planning. You kind of have to play with those as you make your player because those physical stats are gonna change depending on the height you make your player as well. So physicals, done, defense, done, finishing, done, playmaking, done. 
I have that planned out for my player. I know what the main things I'm looking for are. The animations, the badges, everything. Lastly, shooting. I'm not going to talk about that too much right now. I'm going to touch on that in the next part of the video. So just, you know, wait for that. And finally, after having finished planning the player, we're ready to go into the builder. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this in the next part, but you're gonna to wanna to play around with all the heights. The big thing to remember is 6'4 and under is one, is considered small guards in this game because they have different uh, animations when it comes to dribbling and jump shots. And then 6'5 to 6'9 is a, like a swing player or, a, or a, a wing player. They have different animations for dribble moves and jump shots as well. And then 6'10 and above is a whole other thing for jump shots. Drill moves is not that big a deal because you don't get that many drill moves unlocked at that height. But yeah, it's important to note those three things. Now, on to the next part of the video.